I know there's something you want to say about this, um, and it hasn't been made public until right now, but this very personally touched you and Barbara, if you wouldn't mind sharing with well, the world. Well, back in uh, mid-March, uh, Barbara and I both contracted coronavirus. Uh, Barbara was asymptomatic. I had, uh, I had a sore throat and... Uh, uh, a cough and it didn't last very long and I was and we were very very fortunate we were very lucky and you know our and Barbara and I are both of the age uh, both of us 80 years old uh, that is at risk age and uh, you know our hearts go out to the people that did lose their lives and the families and uh, we were just we were just 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 a couple of the lucky ones so we feel very strong about trying to uh, work with the people that are that are working with those that are uh, taking care of t taking care of those who have uh, COVID-19. I know you told me earlier that you tested positive four different times, Barbara, yeah. three times, and you convalesced at home in Florida. We were we were at home from all oh, 13th of March, I guess, until about well, we we were done with it by about the 20th of April, and uh, we just stayed at home until for the next month and made sure that we we were well. But we got the antibodies, and theoretically we. Uh, uh, can't give it and can't get it, and uh, uh, that's that's a nice position to be in. Uh, you know, they asked me if I was going to shake hands on the 18th green for the winner. Well, you know, if the winner wants to shake hands, that's fine. I I wouldn't put him in that position, but you know, I can't give it to him. So, uh, you know, I think we'll have to see what which what he wants to do. Well, Jack has uh, <laughs> recently, I believe, is a Sunday. Um, you know, you took the test for the antibodies again, and. Um, and it came back to, with the good news that you both are carrying the antibody. That's correct. And uh, just really grateful that you shared that. I know this is something you've held on to for a long time. And you've been close to divulging it a couple of times this week. And I think the whole world uh, obviously is greatly interested in, in hearing at your age, you both celebrated your 80th birthdays uh, mm -hmm. a month apart in January and February, that you got through this, thankfully, blessedly, well, we're very, just fine. Very blessed, Jim. And I know, lastly, just how much, uh, again, you've raised money for this cause. Uh, you just started that campaign, helping with uh, protective equipment at the Nicholas Children's Hospitals. And uh, yeah, how much your hearts go out to the, to the tens of thousands of Americans who have uh, lost the battle. A lot of people that have gone out there, and, did, and the workers, the people that are sacrificing or, or risking their lives every day. We have a Wear the Bear uh, you know, show you care campaign. We had a little golden bear with a mask on and a hat, and we've sold. I mean, we've sold a lot of them, and and it's it's been wonderful because it's raised money. We've uh, they've uh, uh, spent spent hundred bucks for a hat, and and our foundation has matched it. So uh, we've 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 raised a lot of money doing that, Jim, for, for protective equipment. Well, Jack, it's. Uh it's an amazing thing what, what you and Barbara have done and now to learn what you've been through this year. Uh, God bless you both. and so thankful to hear that you're both just doing fine. Thanks, Jim. And can't even begin to quantify how many lives the two of you have touched. And, and yet another way today, you've inspired us all uh, by hearing the story of what you guys lived through from March into April.